How does polarity affect chromatography? If you're curious about how polarity influences the process of chromatography, you're about to uncover some fascinating details. Let's break it down step by step. Chromatography is a method used to separate the components of a mixture based on their interactions with two phases, a stationary phase and a mobile phase. The polarity of the substances being separated plays a crucial role in this process. In chromatography, polar substances have a stronger attraction to polar stationary phases. This means that if you have a polar stationary phase, like the water molecules in paper chromatography, polar substances will interact strongly with it and move more slowly through the system. For example, in paper chromatography, the stationary phase is essentially the water molecules adsorbed on the cellulose fibers of the paper. Polar substances will stick to these water molecules, causing them to move up the paper more slowly compared to nonpolar substances. On the other hand, nonpolar substances have a stronger affinity for the nonpolar mobile phase. In the same paper chromatography example, nonpolar substances will interact more with the nonpolar solvent, such as a mixture of water and an alcohol, and move up the paper more quickly. This principle applies across different types of chromatography. In gas chromatography, the stationary phase is often a high boiling point liquid adsorbed onto a solid. Here, polar substances will interact more with the polar stationary phase, taking longer to pass through the column, while nonpolar substances will pass through more quickly. In thin layer chromatography, TLC, the choice of solvent is critical. The polarity of the solvent affects how quickly the components of the mixture move up the TLC plate. If the solvent is too polar, the components may not separate properly, and if it's too nonpolar, they might not move at all. For instance, if the RF value, a measure of how far a substance moves up the plate, is 1, it means the solvent is too polar and you need to decrease its polarity. Conversely, if the RF value is 0, the solvent is too nonpolar and you need to increase its polarity. The type of chromatography also affects how polarity plays out. In normal phase chromatography, the stationary phase is polar, and the more polar solutes adhere more to it, while the less polar components are eluded faster. In reverse phase chromatography, the stationary phase is nonpolar, and the more polar compounds are eluded first. Understanding the polarity of substances and how it affects their movement in chromatography is key to predicting and interpreting the results. By adjusting the polarity of the stationary and mobile phases, you can optimize the separation of components in your mixture. So to sum it up, the polarity of substances determines how quickly they move through a chromatography system and how well they separate from each other. It's all about the balance between the polarities of the substances, the stationary phase, and the mobile phase.